is like to work in a zoo as a veterinarian. Our reporter Willie Dennis Njiru accompanied a wildlife veterinarian at Naivasha uh, Kenya Wildlife Service and witnessed firsthand how the vet treated a monkey and even anesthetized a lion for a wellness examination program. Take a look. In a typical day for Dr. Mukami, it is never defined as distress calls come in from across her area of jurisdiction, regardless of the time of the day. Today, she embarked on a series of errands at the animal orphanage. This monkey was snared and mutilated following human wildlife conflict in the area. She has fully recovered under the watch of Dr. Mukami. These humans uh, got this animal and put a wire through the back which came out through the front and then connected a, a piece of metal can with stones inside it. Moments later, she meets yet another set of leopards have deep injuries. Fortunately, we can't uh, suture them. Such cases have been extremely frustrating. And someone will come and ask one of the Askaris, Dr. Uh, Kowapi, and I'm standing right there, maybe preparing my drugs or something. So it is, they, they see uh, a lady and they perceive, oh, you're, you're not able to do this job. Her tools of trade include Dan injection rifle darting gun, high precision therapeutic and immobilization drugs restricted to professionals with jobs varying by size of the animal kingdom. We had a case in Naivasha where um, some elephants had strayed. Uh, this is a big deal. It's, a, it's, it's an emergency because the animal is afraid. The people are also afraid. Anything can happen. Mukami says that the profession is not for the faint-hearted. Exercise of extreme caution to minimize casualties and fatalities to both animal and her team is paramount and timing is key. Someone is reporting that there is a lion in their compound or in somewhere in their vicinity and we have to go attend to that because it's a serious case. The king of the jungle here knows that too well that Mukami is a character of zeal who triumphs in a quest to safeguard the affairs. <laughs> For this day, she had to relocate three lions to different cages through sedation with concerted efforts from a bunch of officers. And they, unlike us, we think, we can think and we reason that this, this is a bad thing, this is a good thing. For them, their instincts are kill, eat and survive. In all she does here, no family member knows the extreme danger she is exposed to beyond being a wild animal doctor. My family knows what I do. Uh, they know that I'm a wildlife veterinarian. The extent to which uh, the risks <laughs> that I take, probably they are not very privy to. Um, but I believe they, they know it makes me happy and uh, they fully support. Her remarks to the upcoming generation is that no human should set the height of the ceiling for the most precious jewel is deeper than the minor envisages. Gender doesn't matter when, you come, when it comes to doing or achieving the things that you want to do. It should not hinder you. It should not be... Uh, a, a stop block, it should not be something that you look at and say, I cannot do this because I am this gender. Regardless of gender, Dr. Mukami remains as an example that it is all doable between the two genders. Reporting for TV 47 from Nairobi Animal Orphanage, I'm Willie Dennis Njiru.